Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So, I've got a PR package and this one has come to me from the good people at paintsomeway.com. So, let's get into it and have a look. See what we got this time. So, oh, we've got one painting. Let's put it that way up. You can see a little bit of what it is. And, oh, another painting. Again, we can see a little bit of what it is. And then, ta-da! Oh, this looks interesting. Okay, so we have wooden pieces in a special drill project. Okay, so there are uh, quite a few special offers on at the moment. So thank you to Paint Somewhere for sending me these. At the moment on the website, when I've just looked before filming this, there was a free shipping on orders over $49. Uh, obviously, you'll need to check out for your country uh, as to what special offers and things apply to your area your country and um, if you buy one item you get eight percent off if you buy five items there's 15 percent off and if you buy 10 items which if you're anything like me is very easy to do then uh, it's 20 percent off so yeah it's uh, worth popping over there and having a look okay but i can't wait to see what this is like Ooh. Uh, when I can work out how to get into it. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, it's a long bag. Okay, let's just pop those two guys out the way. And let's have a look at this one. I do like to try new bits and pieces and different things. So uh, we've got our little standard toolkit, pen, boat and wax. Okay, oh, we've got some string. Looks like quite thick sort of garden twine type string very rustic looking okay uh, we've got our drills which we've got a mixture of oh i can have just spotted i think an ab in there as well oh yes we've got a white ab some crystals and some plain black so they look exciting too we've got a little hanger with a sticky pad on the back so that's uh yeah that's just got a little cover on it so you'll peel that off stick it to the wall so this looks like it's going to be a hanging decoration oh it's a halloween one. Oh, i remember now oh right okay wow this is really good quality rather than acrylic this is the wood again i wonder if this is the route that they're all going down because we do seem to be getting a bit more wooden stuff now does that look like it's got uh, oh it's like three layers i don't know if you can see that see if it'll yeah well you've got three layers of wood all sandwiched together just to give it that extra strength the thickness of it is going to be about half a centimeter which is five millimeters so yeah they're a good nice solid piece they're not going to bend or crack or break or whatever well within reason obviously <laughs> can't guarantee it but uh, it depends how gentle you are with things. Okay. All right. So we start off. We've got a happy Halloween sign. And it looks like we've just got one colour on all the letters there. With sort of a dark background. Which looks like... Yep. Yeah, we've got this dark black background. And then we're going to have some nice coloured letters. We'll have to... Oh no. Look. It's white. So it's the white AB that's going to go on there. So we've got a black and white sign saying Happy Halloween. Ooh, and the white is uh, AB coated as well, so it'll sparkle. And we've got a hole here and a hole here for hanging it. And then there's just one at the bottom there. So if you didn't want to use the twine, you could use ribbon or anything. I might put this on black ribbon, actually. I've got some very thin black ribbon, and I think that would look bright quite good and then once you've done it you would hang it on uh, your little hook there and it'll hang down you could even hang it um, above a door or something people walk into it no maybe that's just me <laughs> okay then we've got a skull Ooh. which again is all black and then it's all threes so yeah we've got all number ones and number threes so that's going to be the same color as your happy halloween sign so i would probably put that one in the middle so that you don't have your same color next to your same color 
Okay, then we've got a pumpkin here. Actually, he looks quite a friendly pumpkin. He's got uh, three teeth, look. Uh, he's obviously not brushed his teeth, has he? Because he's only got three gnashes left. <laughs> and he's got the one, the black. Uh, he's got three, which is the silver. So his teeth are going to be uh, wha white. Sorry, not silver. White air base, so white and sparkly. And uh, then we've got number four, which is the amber colour. So, yeah, it'll be quite sparkly. Um, but, yeah, those teeth make me laugh. <laughs> I've just got three left. <laughs> OK, so that will be... So I would possibly put him at the top there. And then we've got a cat at the bottom. Oh, and the cat's only got three teeth as well. <laughs> so he's obviously not been brushing his teeth either. Oh, dear, that's funny. So again, we're the uh, white in the mouth. We've got black all the way around. So it's a black cat. And then we've got number two, which I'm not sure what colour that is until we look uh, for the ears, the eyes, the nose and the teeth. So it's got different coloured teeth, this one. So I would possibly put that one at the bottom. So all you would do is just literally thread your string through the top all the way through the bottom. They are only single sided. They're not double sided. But I mean, to be honest, you know, the weight of them and everything, I don't think I'd want to double side them. And then it will just hang. And I just think that's great. I may have to add some glow in the darks to this as well. I've got some black glow in the darks. I might have to do like the eyes as glow in the dark, I think. Possibly not the outsides. Depends how many I've got. I don't think I'd be able. I don't think I've got enough to be able to do the whole cat. But I've definitely got some glow in the dark, so I'll give those a try. Uh, the price of this on the website is seven dollars and ninety nine cents at the minute. So I think that's pretty good, really, for uh, for the size of it and everything. Uh, where's my date measure? Let's have a quick measure. If I put well, I'll put it all up together. Look so that you can see the length if you just had it all one after the other so that is 14 inches which is 36 centimeters the widest point looks like possibly the sign is going to be whoops have a look about five inches which is 12 centimeters and then this one is two and a half inches wide which is about six and a half ish centimeters okay the pumpkin is about 10 inches sorry four and a half inches wide which is about 10 and a bit centimeters and its height is about 10 ish centimeters four and a quarter inches this one is about the same size 10 centimeters four ish inches by nine centimetres, three and a half inches. And then the cat, they are really evil looking these, are they? I mean, even the skull um, doesn't look really sort of scary particularly. Uh, they're just good fun Halloween ones, aren't they? So this one is four and a half inches, which is again about 11 and a half centimetres. And to the tip of his ears, yeah, you're looking at about four inches, ten centimetres. So they're all more or less the same size. But yeah, I think this is great. I love this. This will definitely get done for Halloween and hung up on the wall. Yay! <laughs> okay, let's see if I can find the opening to these drills and we'll have a look and see what we've got. Do you know what? I can't find the end, so I'm just going to cut the top off. <laughs> fails cheat <laughs> actually i don't think it has got an end on this one i think this is a sealed packet which is why i couldn't find the end oh no look that's not it. oh it has look i've just found it there oh no it's not it's sealed no it is sealed it's not me it's sealed now that's not giving me a fighting chance is it you know i'm hopeless at opening packets <laughs> oh my oh my goodness the cat has got red eyes, red ears, red nose and red teeth. <gasps> oh, I'm not going to be able to do the cat with red teeth. It'll look like it's bitten something. No, no, it's not going to have red teeth. 
um i don't know whatever i like it might have red eyes i'm not sure but it's definitely not gonna have red teeth <laughs> okay so we've got two packets of your 310 black we've got the red to go on the cat no no Mm, I don't know. What would you do? I think I'll do maybe a pink nose. I may be doing pink eyes and pink ears, but I can't. No, no, he's not having red teeth. <laughs> I like scary, but not too scary. So, right, uh, we've got our white AB, which we know is our uh, number three, which is mouth. Oh, gosh. So we'd have a red. Sorry, he'll have a white uh, AB in his mouth. And then he'll have red sparkly gems. No, no. Uh, obviously, they are rejects, so just do them however you want to do them. I'm just having a bit of fun. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I can do his teeth red. <laughs> and then we've got this lovely glowing amber for the pumpkin. This is super. I love this. And I love the fact that they are now wooden. Um, because as well, because the wooden the letters and the numbers are all on the top so you don't get your skewed perspective um, of looking at it from underneath when they put uh, the key codes, the letters underneath um, yeah, you find that it's a little bit skewed sometimes so I love this, absolutely love it I will be uh, doing this within the next week so I can get it up on my Halloween decorations yay! And, oops, don't lose that, Liz. That's our hanger. Okay, so moving on. The next one we've got, moving from Halloween to... Has this one not got an end to it either? Let me have a look. Do you know, I think this one's sealed as well. They're just trying to confuse me. This is not good. I am just so easily confused. Oh, no, it's there. I can see it. Oh, take it back. Take it back. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, we are now moving to Christmas. And look at this. I've been looking at this one for quite a while. Um, and I just think it's, it, again, it makes me smile. It's so happy looking. And it's Christmas, yay. Uh, I looked on Facebook yesterday and I think somebody said it's 10 weeks to Christmas. And I went, Ugh, that's not good. I've got to get Halloween out of the way first. Don't be telling me how close we are to Christmas. <laughs> uh, we've got our basic uh, toolkit, pen, boat, wax, and we've got the little black tweezers there, which, as I said, I have now found a use for, so yay. Let's give him a bit of black now. Oh, that's a small bag with all the gems in. But, uh, yeah, there's plenty of sparkle in there. Okay. But is this not one of the happiest little snowmen you've ever seen? Okay, right, let's give this a bit of a flatten out. He's got a little bit uh, squished, but that's okay. He's come a long way. Right, so let's see, let's sit. Flatten him out. Yeah, I think he's just enjoying the snow, don't you? He's looking up to the snowflakes, looking up to the stars and smiling with his little eyes shut. And he's going, yay, it's snowing. Which, if it snows this year here in the UK, I will do as well. Because I love snow and we've not really had much. Um, where we live, we've got a big city, Kingston-upon-Hull, next to us. And we have a big river runs down uh, sort of the side of the city and down the side of where we live and then another river runs uh, through the city so the river tends to stop a lot of the bad weather coming um, to this side if we always say if we've got it bad then everybody else has got it 10 times worse because yeah the snow and everything just seems to not come to us because as I say I don't think it's because of the river I think it protects sort of us a little bit but that's not good because I like snow <laughs> I think for about the last seven, eight years, possibly longer, I've been saying I'm going to build a snow Scotty. Uh, if you don't know, we have a little Scotty dog called Millie. And uh, yeah, I keep saying I'm going to build a snow Scotty. And ever since I've said that, we've never had enough snow for me to be able to do it. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to go to a nice snowy country and do it there. That'll be an idea. Yeah. <laughs> 
How cute is this though? Isn't that just wonderful? It is a partial, so the background uh, where you haven't got any of the little numbers or letters or symbols isn't uh, diamond painted. You don't put any diamonds on there and a lot, in fact, to be honest, the main part of this that you are putting gems and diamonds on is the scarf. And I think once this is done, it's going to look so chunky knit. It really does look like one of those big, thick, chunky knits because of the way it's all shaped around and curved. It looks really pretty. We've got the green at the bottom. So that's very Christmassy because that's going to look a little bit like um, a, fair, a fair tree, a fern tree. No, a fair tree. A yeah, fair tree. My brain's gone, what can I say? And we've got a bit of holly around here and some lovely possible poncettia flowers. And then all these big snowflakes coming down, look. And then just a little bit to highlight the snowman. So these are nice quick projects to do, but they're easy to finish. And actually this would probably go as a Christmas card as well. Uh, it says it's 30 by 40. I think it'll be a 25 by 35, but let's just double check. Uh, yeah, well, it's about a 34-ish. It's not quite flattened out. So about 34-ish, which is just over 13 inches. Uh, by about 24-ish centimetres, which is about nine and a quarter, nine and a half inches. So, yeah, it's just that little bit shorter. But that's good because, as I say, then it fits nicely in a frame. It'll look really nice um, in those magnetic frames as well. I've got some gold ones, so it could quite look nice in there because Christmas and gold. I'm very traditional with my Christmas. I do like my reds, greens and golds. Um, I know a lot of people like... Uh, different things my christmas tree i collect glass christmas tree toys so all of my christmas is very very traditional all different colors on my tree okay let's have a look at these gems Ooh, oh oh this is different let me just flick this over and we'll have a look so these are all in like the little 200 packets oh i don't think i've ever had this before or if i have it's a long time ago wow okay so, oh, we've got some lovely colours. Wow. All in little packets. Oh, some of them are a little bit difficult to read. But, uh, yeah, I'll probably have to tip them out so I can see what they are. Now, the trick with these packets as well, because this one, it could be a six or it could be a nine. But if you look at something that you know is a definite, this is like a definite number 11. If you look where the side is sealed, then you know that that one will be the same way around. So this is actually a number six because that's where the seal is on there. The numbers will always be in the same order. You see that number seven? That one's got the seal on this side as well. Just a little tip to show you how, uh, how if you're not sure whether it's one number or another, if you just tip them slightly around and uh, the sealed part on the uh, drill will always be at the same place. So, ooh, they're nice. They're little marquees. Look how shiny and bright they are. There's no coating on them. They are just literally silver and they are very silver. So that's number 12. So is that the highest number we go? Did I say how many? Yeah, it's 12 different shapes and gems. There are codes on it, but I'm not sure what they will relate to. It could just be this manufacturer's numbers or it could be proper numbers um, that relate to a lot of different companies. But uh, yeah, that's what's on there at the moment. OK, so we have a red, which is number, it's like a ready orange, which is number three. We've got number 11. Oh, is look at that. I'm going to call hot pink on that because it is so sparkly. Yeah, it's definitely hot pink and it's got an AB coating, an Aurora Borealis coating. So you've got your oil and water. It goes from pink to red to purple in that. Absolutely gorgeous. So that's number 11. Okay. This one is oh, number three. Keep this to this side, Liz. Do what you've just said to do everybody else. Too. So that's number three. So that's like an ambery red colour. Uh, that one yep, is number six. So that should go. Okay. Number seven is just, um, that looks like a 3865 to me. That looks like just uh, an acrylic gem that's like a, an off white, a winter white colour. Definitely winter white. Okay. 
Now then, I don't think I'm going to be able to read the number on that at all without taking it out of the pack. Oh, I might be able to. Hang on, if I can just catch the light right. I think, oh yeah, it's number five. So that's number five. All right, okay. Uh, oh, number 10, look. Now that's the silver marquee and that has got the uh, iridescent coating on the AB coating. So that's your difference between having no coating and having a coating. Yeah, it, uh, yeah, it's quite clever that actually to show you the difference. Okay. And then we have number, I think that one's number one. Okay, that's just a red. And these look like they'll all be on the scarf. So the scarf is red and green then. And I can't see a number on this one at all. Um, actually, I think that is number... Oh. No, there is something on there, but I can't quite see what that is. Um, so we'll put that one on one side for now, because it will be uh, the one that we're missing when we've put them all in order. That one's number eight. That's a half sphere pearl. Uh, no facets on it, and it has got a coating. It could be number nine. Could be number nine. I'm going to put it as number nine. I think it is. Uh, then we've got number two is your lovely green. So this one is oops, number four. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve different gems and colours. Wow. But yeah, these are mainly the scarf, so it's going to look absolutely gorgeous. And then those snowflakes, I think we'll have all these uh, marquees on them just to sparkle out in the corners. Woo! This is going to be lovely like this one okay let's pop these back in your little packet oh, look at that smile oh and you just want to give it a hug if it was smiling at you like that but unfortunately it would probably melt if you did <laughs> okay and oh that one on the website at the moment is four dollars and 99 cents and this one is four dollars and 99 cents as well but this is a full drill right oh and i found the end on this one straight away look yay <laughs> okay and this is another one of my favorites i've got so many favorite things it's probably why i've got so many diamond paintings because i just like so much particularly if it's blingy or sparkly or wow okay so unroll this one another one of my favorite size 30 by 40 Ooh, nice soft canvas again it's quite rough on the back it is you know a canvas but it is soft it's very pliable but not too soft and oops this one's in the little 200 packets as well okay not my favorites um i think more because they do take longer to kit up because they're all in the little packets um, but at least you know how many drills you've got, 200 drills in each packet, so, okay, um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't detract from the quality of the drills or anything like that, it is just, I have to say, my least favourite way of receiving my drills, but nothing wrong with it, right, uh, oh, and we've got some little grip seal bags in this kit as well, so they have put us a few in, uh, not quite enough to do the full thing, but there is some in there, and uh, it's pen, butt and wax for your little starter toolkit. And this one is the little turtle. Look at this. How cute is that? With all the seashells round. And the little turtle. And I think I'm going to put this one in my bathroom. Because um, I, you'll, if you've been watching me a while, you'll know I've got my big special real turtle in my bathroom. And then this one is going to go at the other side of the bathroom. So I will have a couple of turtles in my bathroom and a few other bits and pieces as well. But how cute is that? And I just loved the colours. It's nice, bright, cheery colours. I've been doing quite a few Halloween-y type things recently. And uh, the, some of them have been a little bit dark colours. And I do like my brights because they make me smile. OK, so we've got 24 different colours. Uh, it looks like our key code is all capital letters. And we do have DMC codes as well. So that's brilliant. Okay. Let's just give this a little bit of a flatten down. Okay. 
flatten that little turtle out. My soft canvas is flattening really, really quickly. Very nice. I like this. I do like this. It's like a nice quality. Okay. Give it a quick measure, but I think we'll find again we're about a 24 ish. It looks more or less the same border as the uh, snowman. Yeah, we are 24 centimeters, nine and a half ish inches by 13 and a quarter inches, which is about 34 centimeters. So, yeah, but they're a good size and I do love doing them. Nice clear drill field. Uh, there isn't really any dark colours that I can show you on this, but uh, yeah, it's definitely very clear. They're all black letters. There's no light coloured letters on this, but then there is no dark colours as such. So they can all be... Oh no, there is just a few white ones in this top corner, look, on that dark orangey colour at the top. Um, but the rest are black. So yeah, they all stand out really nicely. There's no guide circles, which is great as well. So let's have a quick look at the drills. Oh, look at these colours. And the first thing I can see is hot pink. I do like to get canvases with hot pink on. <laughs> uh, right, so let's have a look. I'm not going to uh, count any of them. I'll, we'll just have a quick look at the colours. So we've got a nice blue. And we've got like a creamy yellowy colour and a little bit brighter yellowy colour. Okay. So that's going to be shells and things and starfish. What are these conch shells, are they called? The ones that are like round and you can put them to your ear and you can hear the sea. Yeah, I do that as well. <laughs> so we've got a few greens. Let's uh, put that one on one side. I think that one's... Yep, yeah, 3364. That one's uh, decided to put itself separate to the others. That's okay. Got this little bit, oh, pale green, that's a nice green. That looks like that's going to be the background, so that's pretty. <gasps> and then we've got one of my favourite greens, which is a lovely, fresh, bright green. Okay, those in. Try and do them a bit at a time so that I don't spill them everywhere. And then a few sort of aqua blues and nice sea greeny blues. Okay, sea greeny blue, is that a thing? Mm, possibly. It is in my mind anyway. <laughs> And then like your browns and your rusty and your beigey colours. Okay, and we've got another yellow there. And a stone colour. Okay. And then we have, is this our black? No, that looks like it's dark green. Can I see the number on this one? It's the only thing when you get a dark colour with my eyesight, I can't see. I think that could be, is it 938? Oh no, I think it's 993, no, no, 935. It's 935, yep, it's dark green, 935. There you go, see, I get there in the end. My eyesight's not brilliant, but I do get there in the end. We've got a lovely lilac colour. Oh, oh, we've got a, like a lilac -y, pinky colour down here on this shell. Uh, we've got a, a sort of a, we've got a blue colour there and a grey and another grey and, oh, that's a pretty blue. And then our pink, hot pink. And then just a little bit pearly pink. So, yay. Nice, fresh colours. I like this one. I say this one will be done and goes in my bathroom. So, a lovely little haul from Paint Somewhere. We have our gorgeous little turtle. Oh, look at him. He's just swimming along through the shells. Yay. And we've got our happy, smiling snowman with all his special drills. Wow. And then our little Halloween sign. Oh, love this. Love this. I'm going to do it that way around. Okay. Well, huge thank you to uh, paintsomeway.com for sending these to me to have a look at. Um, don't forget to go and check out the website and see if you'll qualify for some of the free postage or free gifts. It's always worth having a look. Okay, if you've enjoyed looking at these with me, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. And any comments or questions, if you pop them in the comments down below. 
And then if you want to subscribe by pressing that subscribe button in the corner down there, you will be notified of any of my videos coming up so you won't miss anything. Yay! <laughs> okay, well, that's me done for now. So thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.